one. I want to read Ricky the Rock That Couldn't Roll. Ready? Over the lake and out past the bay was a green grassy hill where the rocks could play. They would race to the top to take in the view, then roll their way down the way rocks like to do. They're having fun rolling down the hill. There was Kip, Pip, and Chester, and Marvin the Boulder. Ignatius played too, though he was much older. The pebbles never sat still. They zigzagged their way up the hill. Zigzag, zigzag, up the hill. Look at that little ladybug. She's keeping an eye on those rocks. Kai was a meteorite and not from this planet. That's Kai. And Maya was a lava rock but taken for granite. Stu was the smart one. Where's Stu? That one is Stu. Stu was the smart one. Parker, he was the clown. He says, how do you make tissue dance? And old grumpy Ebert, uh, he just rolled around with a frown always saying, seriously? Gabby was sassy and Leslie had flair. And Emma was giggly and Hud, he had black hair. You see his hair? Oh, there's our ladybug friend. But the one trait that seemed to be shared by all of them was that every rock there was shaped like a ball. And because they were round, they could easily roll through the grass, past the lake, up the hill, over the knoll. See how they were all round? And they could just roll wherever they wanted to go. There's the ladybug. except for poor old Ricky. He was quite sad. You see, Ricky couldn't roll because one side was flat. Look, it's flat on the bottom. So Ricky can't roll like the other rocks. But the ladybug, look at it. There's the ladybug sitting right on top of Ricky. This little rock says, as he's rolling down the hill, what part of this is supposed to be fun? He's kind of got a scared looking face. Uh, but the other rocks seem to be having fun. But Ricky can't roll, because he's flat. Ricky is a semicircle. He's just a half circle. He doesn't go all the way around. Ricky's friends didn't get it. They kept saying, come on, roll with me, Ricky, come on. They would chant, come roll, come roll, come roll. So Ricky tried, but he replied, I'm sorry, I can't. There's the ladybug. The ladybug looks like she's trying to be Ricky's friend. But the rocks were determined. They were sure they could solve Ricky's flat-sided problem and help him revolve. So Marvin the boulder with his impressive physique, he's strong, carried Ricky all the way to the hill's grassy peak carried him all the way to the top of the hill. Then he pushed him down the hill, yelling, 
keep rolling, kid. But Ricky didn't roll. He just kind of slid down the hill. And Ricky said, oh, this feels like a bad idea. But who's with Ricky? The little ladybug. She's hanging on. Well, the rocks weren't done, not by a mile. Surely this time, this, this next try would get Ricky to smile. They stuck rubber balls all over Ricky, using big globs of glue to get them to stick. They were proud of themselves. Oh, this is gonna work, they announced. But Ricky still couldn't roll. Now he just sorta bounced. They thought this might be a clever idea to stick balls all over Ricky. And Ricky says, oh, no good, no good, no good. Well, they pushed and they pulled, trying every which way to get Ricky to roll. But by the end of the day, nothing had worked. Just like Ricky expected, and he ended up feeling depressed and dejected. It's no use, sighed Ricky. There just isn't a way. So I'm gonna sit off to the side and watch you all play. He looks so sad. But there's this ladybug friend. But his friends wouldn't stop. We're here for you, brother, and we'll get you to roll one way or another. So they pondered and they thought, each straining their brain, until they looked up and saw it was starting to rain. And that's when it hit that smart stone named Stu. Eureka, he shouted, I know just what to do. He explained to them how they would get Ricky to tumble. My plan is pure genius. Stu was not very humble. He's got a good idea. So they carried our hero down the road about a mile to the lake where they gathered up mud that they could pile on the flat side of Ricky, creating a mound that they shaped, smoothed, and sculpted until it was round. Then after the rain, when the sun was in the sky, they left him to bake until the mud was all dry. They gathered up the vines and all of the colorful feathers, and they wrapped it around Ricky to keep him together. So they put mud on Ricky to make him a full circle. That was a clever idea. Do you think that's gonna help? Do you think Ricky's gonna be able to roll? When the last knot was tied and the work was all done, the only step left was for Ricky to have fun. They stood back and watched, feeling nervous and tense as Ricky breathed in deep with increasing suspense. He moved slowly at first, testing out his new mold, and then, for the first time, <gasps> Ricky the Rock rolled. Look at him. He looks so happy, and there's his ladybug friend. It worked. Putting the mud on Ricky worked. So, Bria the ladybug, who'd been there from the start, felt a surge of pure joy swell up in her heart. She thought, as she watched her friends play on the hill, that there's always a way if there's always a will. And she said to herself, as Ricky rolled down that slope, when you're surrounded by love, you always have hope. Look how happy Ricky is. All of his friends, they didn't give up on Ricky and they wanted him to be a part. So they found a way for Ricky to roll. So they put mud and vines and he looked so happy. 
And there's the sweet ladybug. That's a great story about the rocks. So this week in your packet, I have rock bingo. What I want you to do is I want you to go out in your backyard, in your neighborhood, to the park, and I want you to find different rocks. Um, I put um, my rocks and pictures in the comments. So ask mom and dad if you can see the rocks that Miss Christy found. I want you to look for a shiny rock, a rock that can write. Did you know that rocks could write? I found one and I wrote, wrote on the sidewalk and I wrote a little message to you. I want you to see if you can find a rock that's stuck in the ground, a rock that you can't lift, it's too heavy. A rock that is tinier than your thumbnail. That's an itty bitty rock. A rock with a hole in it. A smooth rock. And a rock with stripes. Go see if you can find all of these fun rocks. And I want you to take a picture with your rock. And I want you to have mom or dad post it so that I can see. I love you guys. I miss you. See you soon. Bye.